you know what triggered me to help these migrants return home was those visuals of uh, people walking with their kids with their elders and uh, those are ending journeys imagine a father telling the kids don't worry you know bihar jaldi aa jayega up jaldi aa jayega and they have to walk hundreds of kilometers thousands of kilometers with their little kids and when these kids will grow what kind of memories will they'll have in their minds that you know they saw their parents walking thousands of kilometers struggling to go back to their homes so i don't wa- i didn't never wanted those kids to grow with those memories so i thought you know i have to come forward and help these guys i had no formula to do it but the only intention was i won't let them walk on these highways and that's the first time i spoke to migrants traveling to karnataka and there were almost 350 of them so i got all the permissions ready and i sent them on bus so that was the first step and then it started from karnataka to bihar to up to jharkhand uttargarh chatisgarh lot of places so this is how the whole thing started um i i started my whole uh, i would say the whole thing when the corona had hit you know first i gave my hotel to all the nurses paramedical staff and the doctors which is in juhu and uh, so that they can come rest go back to their duties and they can spend maximum time on on uh, their toes on uh, duty so that they can sa- save more lives um and till now uh, you know uh, still they are there So I think that was a small bit and when the migrant thing whole started I I knew that you know there can't be any numbers till the last migrant reaches his home I have to keep on trying to uh, you know make them uh, get back to their families so so far almost 18000 to 20000 people have already made them uh, you know get reunited with their families and uh, first i started on my own then a lot of people stepped in there's a very close friend of mine neeti goel and we both were doing this food drive uh, where we were distributing food and she said so uh, you know uh, uh, you know whom to give food and we were traveling on a highway once and then the, we saw these migrants and then we thought why not uh, get after uh, this whole issue and uh, try to save and convince these people that you please stay and once i had sent the first lot of people the word spread that okay this guy can help us go back to their homes and then the trust factor came and people started calling me and i started sending them back home and all the people who had planned to walk they stayed and they waited for me to get those permissions and send them back so i i knew that the trust factor is very important and uh, that was a responsibility on my shoulders to uh, get them back to their homes i like i said you know i've sent almost 18 20000 people and there are many more on the list then i started a toll free number then i started um, uh, getting all my chartered accountants all all my friends on team then there were almost 15 20 people who were just making those numbers right segregating which district who's traveling uh, i had a team of um, i mean almost 50 60 volunteers who were just feeding people so that that was a uh, i would say the support system that really uh, helped me uh, to move ahead and still miles to go but the journey is on um, and i'm sure you know um, uh, the whole exercise you know um, and the and the, the the venture is so i would say challenging that it, the journey is going to be so, very very tough but uh, now i've streamlined a lot of things a lot of uh, permissions and uh, uh, i have a lot of people on my list whom i need to send back so yeah it's just now uh, uh, you know connecting those dots the initiative taken um, i would say was the most important phase of my life um, you know i never thought that it'll go to this level i thought you know i'll help you hundreds and i wanted to help you thousands and then i wanted to help everyone so uh, it happened automatically and i'm blessed that god chose me as a tool to help them and i will keep on helping them whether it's feeding or giving them a hotel or whether helping migrants go back home so i think this is the um, this is my duty now that takes me almost 20 hours a day and i wish today that that my day was 30 hours so that i could spend more time with them the best thing that i've heard from the migrants so far is they called me and they said uh, you know we have named our kid as sonu sud shrivastav and i asked them you know you can't be sonu sud shrivastav you can be sonu shrivastav he said no sir not in my family but in many families you'll have you know sonu sud and then the surname so i think that was very special and uh, that will stay with me forever but i i just wish 
that I could uh, reach out to more and more people, uh, get more and more people re- reunited. But yeah, the journey is on, and I leave no stone unturned to make my parent prou- parents proud who are sitting in heavens and guiding me. And what I remember those lines that said by my mom: uh, "You are successful only when you can help someone." And I'm trying to do my bit, and uh, I-, I will walk on the footsteps that my mother taught me to walk on. So thank you so much, and God bless you.